Hi, I'm here at uh, CES 2012 with David Harold, and I believe you've got an exciting OpenCL demo to tell us about, David. I think it's exciting, absolutely. It's a good example of how certain applications run much better on a GPU than they do on the CPU. So right here we have some image adjustment going on, okay. and it's happening right now on the CPU, which is a 1 gigahertz ARM A9 CPU. Okay, so what's the platform uh, here? This is an OMAP4 platform from Texas Instruments, which has our SGX540 graphics core in there. Okay. So right now you can see we're getting about 15 frames per second, a little bit less than that, and we've nearly maxed out one CPU core. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this power meter over here as well, where Five watts were sorry. Five volts were drawing down about 0.7 uh, amps. Okay. Now, I bring in another CPU core. Our performance has improved. It's 24 frames per second, something okay, like so, that. So that was around 14 before, around 24 now using both CPU cores. That's right. But look at what's happened to the power. We're up to 0 0.83, 0 0.84, more than okay. a watt more power being drawn. Okay. So. So that's yeah. So that really matters in a, a mobile environment. Yeah, so a good performance boost from both CPU cores, but a lot more power. Absolutely. Now let's see what happens when we take this away from the CPU and put it onto the GPU using OpenCL. Okay. So here we've got 42 frames per second performance now, and the power is actually back down below where we originally started, just 0.6. 5.66. So, so that was around a watt less than using both cores, and even less than using one CPU core. Absolutely, for much better performance. And you know, this applies to many different applications. If it's something highly parallel, then take it away from the CPU, put it onto the GPU. You can do that right now. All of our PARVR SGX parts have OpenCL compatibility, and of course, the new Rogue architecture, PARVR Series Six which we've just announced here at CES, has even better compute potential than SGX did. Thank you, David. That's a very exciting technology there.